Hello everybody, I am David and today I'm going to be talking about the Lego Batman movie, the next Lego film in the Lego film franchise. It looks like this is going to become a franchise uh, because we have another Lego movie coming out next year, uh, Lego Ninjako movie. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. I saw the little trailer for that while I was in the theaters. Uh, but let's talk about Lego Batman. I was really looking forward to this movie because the Lego movie, you know, was a great film. And one of the reasons why it was a great film was because Batman himself was a great character. And uh, even though he was a supporting character. And when I saw the trailer for this, I said this could have potential to be a really fun film. Uh, I wasn't worried about it like I was worried about finding Dory where they, okay they got a main uh, a supporting character now they're putting him in his own movie making him the main character uh, I wasn't worried about that or like Cars 2 um, because I feel that there are funny ways you can take Batman Batman has been done comedically in the past if you watch the 1960s Batman series uh, that was a more comedic take on Batman. If you watched um, uh, Batman Brave and the Bold, which is an animated series, which I think is no longer new episodes of, um, that is a pretty comedic take on the DC characters. Um, and yeah, so I really was going into this movie with an open mind thinking this is going to be a really fun film. I'm hoping at least. And reviews started coming out. It was great. And here's my thoughts. Uh, I really love this movie. Um, the Batman character and the Bat family are just such great characters in this film. Uh, even though they're not exactly the way I would have loved to see, see them. You know, I'm hoping the live action movies can take some notes and be like, come on, we gotta, we gotta make the live action films just as great as this movie. Obviously, they take a more serious approach. I don't want to see Batman like chilling in the bad cave, barbecuing alone. Um, but I really like the story with the, uh, the story about family in this movie. And that's to me what Robin and Batgirl and Alfred and even Commissioner Gordon to an extent uh, have all sort of, I always thought of as Batman's extended family. After his family died, I always looked at all those other characters as a way for Bruce trying to rebuild the family that he lost as a kid. And they really touch upon that really nicely in this movie. I would say this is a better version of Batman and Robin than Batman and Robin. Um, so it, it really did great with the laughs and the jokes and the characters. Uh, the Joker is the main threat of this movie if you didn't tell by the trailer um and they take it to some interesting territories that uh they kind of played with in the movies but they really make it known to you if you never really kind of got the hints in the past of how obsessed the joker is with batman and maybe batman even enjoys the the one-on-one -on -one battles with the joker um I really like that. I, I will say that I was kind of sad that the DC, the rest of the DC characters, uh, heroes, uh, the Justice League, they're not in it as much as I thought they would be. I, I really got the sense from the trailers that the DC characters would have been in this a little bit more. They kind of are in the beginning. Uh, Superman probably has the most screen time out of them all. Uh, but then after... The first 30 minutes, the DC characters kind of disappear, and it's just the Bat family. Um, I really thought they were going to show up at the end and help kick ass, but uh, they didn't, and uh, whatever. Other than that, it's a little nitpick for me. Um, another little nitpick is that we didn't get an awesome song, like, everything is awesome from the original Le Lego movie. Um, that song got you humming it after you left the theaters, and I still sing it once in a while. <laughs> when no one's paying attention um but with that being said yeah i mean just little nitpicks i i think maybe the middle of the film is a little boring here and there there's some boring aspects in the middle but then it picks up and and it's good all over again i wouldn't say like 
yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, so I will say that this movie is a nice little follow-up to the Lego movie. I still think the Lego movie, the original Lego movie, is still uh, a little bit better. Um, but this film is a nice follow-up. And if this is what we're going to get uh, more of with other uh, Lego movie films, uh, then I am looking forward to seeing what else this franchise cranks out. Uh, I hope we get a Lego Batman 2. That would be cool. Uh, I can, you can never get enough Batman uh, live action or animation. doesn't matter to me. So until next time, guys, I think that's it. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Lego movie if you checked it out or if you're planning to. Hopefully I didn't spoil anything to, for you. Uh, even ask me a question about if you do really want to know something. And um, try not to ask a spoilery question just to avoid it for other people who comment below and read the comments. Uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and until next time guys, take care.